41, we're asked to describe this, uh, the solid given by the integral. So this is the integral um, from 0 to 1 of pi times uh, y fourth minus y8 dy. So we can already see from here that um, we are integrating with respect to y because we have a, a dy, right? So that means that this uh, solid was revolved about the y-axis. And because there's a pi here, um, we can we can infer that this is a case where we have some f of y here. And then when we revolve it about the y-axis, it gives us um, it gives us these disks stacked across each other vertically whose radius is basically the height of the function. So it goes from zero all the way out here. Uh, that's the radius. So basically in this situation where we go from A all the way to B, our integral is A from A to B of, uh, and we're summing up each disk, right? In the area of each disk is just pi r squared, um, where the radius is just the height of the function of f of y. So pi times f of f of y and all of this squared times dy. So if we compare it here, um, we can see that uh, we can describe our volume in as such. Um, the volume is obtained by rotating the curve the curve and in this case, because it is a function of y, we do say x is equal. Now, uh, notice that it's f of y squared. So in this case, our curve is actually the root, right? So it's going to be square root of y fourth minus y eight, because then when we square it, we just get the, the regular thing with no exponent by the, rotating the curve uh, about the, uh, the y-axis from from zero to one and that is uh the volume that we the solid that we get uh described by this integral